I'm about to show you the two secrets to getting instantly approved for business credit cards. As someone who has helped over 1,500 entrepreneurs and business owners obtain tens of millions of dollars in approvals, I'm going to show you exactly how we're able to get instantly approved. First things first, guys, let's get some of these rumors and myths out of the way. You don't need an established aged business that's making revenue, has employees, has business credit scores, or any of those things to get approved for a business credit card. I've started and funded brand new LLCs from scratch in the very first week, and so have hundreds of my clients. Whether you are someone who is looking to start a business or if you plan on making money outside of regular employment from a side hustle, you can start an LLC and apply for business funding or even apply as an individual, aka a sole proprietorship. Although I typically recommend creating an LLC and getting your EIN for better results because it's quick and easy and super cheap and shows the banks you are serious about your business. The reason the banks can approve even brand new businesses or sole proprietorships and people who have not earned revenue is because they're approving you based off your personal credit scores. And that's the first secret to getting instantly approved for a business credit card. You must have fair personal credit scores or better. They're looking for a 680 plus FICO score with no derogatory marks and minimum two credit cards with one year age to demonstrate you have experience handling credit cards. They also wanna see your revolving utilization is below 30% and you have no excessive hard inquiries. That's typically three or more in the last six months. Once you meet the underwriting requirements for an approval, all that's left for the banks to instantly approve you is to verify your identity and your business, which leads us to the second secret to getting instantly approved. By establishing a relationship with the lender or bank to get KYC, know your customer, out of the way. By having a personal card and business bank account, the bank has already verified your identity and your business and can instantly approve you for a business credit card. Let's hop into a business credit application and see how it works. So when it comes to trying to get an instant approval on any credit card application, it really helps if you apply with a lender that you already have a relationship with. This could be a personal card or a business bank account because they've already verified your identity, right? So that's one less thing they got to get out of the way and they just need to verify that your credit qualifies. So if you have a Chase card, American Express, Bank America, US Bank, Wells Fargo, or maybe you have a business checking account with a lender, those are the lenders that you have the best odds of getting an instant approval. Let's take a look at the credit application. Most credit applications are two parts, personal info and business info. Easy enough, don't get intimidated. Personal info, you're gonna put your name, your date of birth, your social security number, your address, and your income, right? So for income, you can see it says what you, what you earn or reasonably expect to earn in a year. So you can put a projected income if you anticipate that you are going to make more money. Or let's say, you know, you made 10,000 this month. That could be reasonable to project that you're going to make 120,000 this year. Now, business information, business legal name. If you're applying as a sole proprietorship, you could just put your name, right? Your full name. Same thing on the business card. Do you have a DBA doing business as certificate? If not, click no. Uh, for a tax ID, if you're applying as an LLC, S Corp, C Corp, you're going to put your EIN. If you're applying as an individual, you're just going to put your social security number, right? Business address, the same as personal. If it is, put yes, it's okay. Having your personal address, I apply, I work from home, right? And I use my home address and I've gotten all of my approvals under my home address. There's no issues there. Business phone number is fine to be your cell phone number. I've applied with Chase and plenty of others as my cell phone number, and I've never had any issues. Only with some smaller local banks have I had issues. And if you do have issues with the business phone number, you can just get an app like Sideline or you know a second phone number, local number, 1-800's not required, employees put zero. You don't have to put three, four. Business established, right? Whenever you started the business. Uh, business revenue, again, right? If you've made 10,000 in business, you could go ahead and put that. If you reasonably expect to earn a certain number, you could put that figure there. Uh, business category, business type, pick whatever's closest to you, right? Uh, preferably something not that high risk, right? So if you can't find yours on here, you might be able to find something a lot closer to what you do, right? So go ahead and just take a look around. You can look at information. You might be able to find consulting on there. Uh, you can take a look at all the various different industries, educational, pick whatever aligns closest to you, right? You should not have to put a uh, NAS code on there. 
estimated monthly spend, typically no more than 10 to 20% of whatever your revenue is. So if you're making a hundred thousand could be, you know, up to, uh, you know, a thousand to 2000 per month. So put whatever you reasonably expect to be spending on there. Employee cards. No, unless you have employees and go ahead, click, I've read uh, and agree above and click submit. So personal and business information, go ahead and click submit. Now, most of the time you won't be instantly approved unless you have a relationship with this lender and all the information matches up with your profile so they can instantly verify you and your business. If it does go into pending, don't get discouraged as this does not mean that you're denied. They likely just sometimes need to verify your identity manually or your business information or manually review your application. And many banks will sometimes ask for your EIN letter or proof of identity such as your driver's license. So be on the lookout for an email or a phone call from the lender about your application or a decision in the mail. Now, if you do get a letter saying that you are denied, there's still hope as you can Google the reconsideration line for the bank and call them in and ask them to reconsider your application. If you have a relationship or a strong FICO score or already have revenue, you can use all of these as reasons why they should reconsider your application. I've had clients who got denied for you know, Bank of America, for example. They called reconsideration and let them know that they've been a Bank of America member for over two years, their credit scores are great, and they should reconsider and they have their application approved for 22,000. Now, if you are ultimately denied, I typically recommend finding out the reason why, going back to the drawing board and optimizing either your business structure or your personal FICO scores, make those necessary changes so you can come back better next time. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know what you learned. Let me know what you want to see next. And be sure to hit the like button as well. It helps out with the algorithm so we can share this valuable information to get more people instantly improved for business credit cards. This is Credit with Colin, and I'll see you guys on the next one.